Hi everyone, so today I'm going to be talking to you guys about the eight social sciences. I'm going to be going over each of them and giving examples of how um, they look like in our society and also giving the similarities and differences between them. So first off, we have sociology. This is the study of groups rather than individuals in a society. Um, it focuses on how people in these groups interact and behave. It also studies how race, gender, and age affect a person's social standing. So a way that um, race, gender, and age could affect somebody could be like inequality, like they could be treated differently among other individuals in their group. The factors that influence individuals could be the government, religion, and organizations, along with other people's behaviors around us. The father of sociology is August Comte. He is the man who came up with the idea of sociology during the French Revolution. And the French Revolution was basically, it was between the monarchy and the working class, and basically the working class wanted better sort of a better lifestyle and so they overthrew the monarchy and there was just this whole distress in France so August Comte came up with the idea of sociology in order to create more rational behaviors among people. Secondly we have psychology so this is the study of the mind and behavior of indivi individuals since his discovery which wasn't very very long ago it was in 1879 i believe and since then there have been various psychologists with various who came up with various de definitions of psychology so some defined it as psychoanalytic so the study of the unconscious mind and some believed that it was evolutionary so um they used charles darwin's natural selection theory to explain psychology um, it can be studied through various methods such as experiments and case studies and also other naturalistic observation and other research methods. And the father of psychology is Wilhelm Wundt. I'm not sure if I'm saying that right, but yeah, he basically came up with this like idea of a campaign to study psychology and he started in Germany and it rapidly spread throughout North America as well. Next, we have anthropology. So this is the study of the development of people through physical appearance and culture. So an example of this would be anthropologists study how different groups get food, share it, and eat it. They could also study how ancient Romans express their art. Um, anthropologists also look at how he the human body has developed. For example, why us humans have wisdom teeth, and this is because they helped our ancestors chew uncooked food. So despite the fact that now we get rid of them, they did help our ancestors at one point back in the day. Next we have economics. So this is the study of goods and services in a place and how labor is divided. And it also focuses on what is considered valuable in terms of resources. So an example of this could be the GDP or studying the stock market crash. Next we have geography. So this is the study of location, terrain, features, and how basically people interact with the environment and the land. An example of this could be human settlers finding rivers and coasts and sort of interacting with it. So next we have history. This is um, the study of past events and how they affect people. So an example of this would be why the Europeans led the age of exploration. And basically, it just focuses on how history affects us as human beings and our behaviors. Next is philosophy. So this is defined as the love of wisdom. And more simplified, it is the study of knowledge and learning. So this could be like theories and sayings, like any quotes that you see. This could be like a philosophy. And yeah. Lastly, we have political science. Um, this is the study of government 
and who has power and how they use their power. So an example of this would be voting polls. We go and vote to sort of elect who will be in power and we sort of have that in our mind, like how they're going to use their power, which is why we go and vote for those specific people. So lastly, I will be talking about the similarities and differences of the eight social sciences. So the similarities between them um, are that they all focus on social behavior, whether it is past or present. We can see that through, um, for example, sociology and psychology and basically all of them, actually. They all focus on people and how they interact um, the thing that is different among them is the settings in which the social behaviors are occurring. So it could be in the past where we evaluate, in anthropology, we evaluate our ancestors and like people from the past, whereas like in sociology, we evaluate people now in group settings. So there's different sort of settings that um the eight social sciences focus on, but at the end of the day, they all focus on people's behaviors. And yeah, that's all on the eight social sciences. I hope you learned something. Thank you for watching.